Yo guys, how is it going today? It is your boy Burke Crown 88 coming to the YouTube video and today we're gonna be talking about patch notes that were just added to the game. They changed a couple of things. Is this going to change anything? Is this gonna be a little bump in the favor of some things or are we just gonna see the continuous same gameplay? The abilities that got changes, one of them I don't feel like needed to change. One of them was already one of the best abilities in the game and it just got a little bit better. And then the other ones are abilities that I don't think people really used. But if they didn't, and now they might have to because of this. These abilities got a little bump today that make them kind of interesting. That make them kind of interesting. And I want to see in the comment section down below, guys, what do you think of these abilities? Because one of them, I don't think needed help. But let's go. Goalies' lives were already hard enough. How much harder does this make the goalie lives? And how much easier is goals going to be with these new abilities? Let's get into it, guys. I hope you do enjoy it. If you do, hit that like button. Don't forget to leave in the comment section down below. And what you think of these patch notes changes but let's get into it talk about it and see what we're gonna do so first of all the new gameplay tuner is going to come out at 1 p.m which has passed so 1 p.m today this new tuner came out and what did this new tuner offer well first of all the community feedback people weren't liking the accelerated clock in the last minute of the game and in over time their community's feedback was saying this was no fun so what did they do they took the final 60 seconds and they made it 60 seconds so now when you hit that final minute it is not going to be accelerated time it doesn't matter if it's three minute periods two minute periods five minute periods 25 minute periods that last minute will be 60 seconds and another thing with the developers they want to find a way as you see here for us to use abilities that we don't use which for four of these i can understand but one of them it, it doesn't make sense to me and we're going to start with that so they're telling us that snipe is not used i love snipe snipe and make it snappy are two of one of my favorite abilities to use and i use them all the time and they're telling us here that snipe isn't used and they're trying to make it used by doing what to it they're adding the wrist shot power to snipe now wrist shots are something that are hard to activate but every once in a while you will rip one off and it does happen um snipe for me i've realized when you can get a good wrist shot off it's in the back of the net almost every time and increasing it by 50 percent is only gonna you know make it even more like that so snipe has been a good one if you have if you haven't tried snipe i really do recommend it but give it a try and see what you think off the rush slap shot is a shooting ability and all shooting abilities are great because it almost feels like this time of the year any shooting ability that activates it goes in the net very rarely do you see something activate and the goalie makes the save when you get an activation it goes off off the rush there was that odd time where you would get it and the goalie would make a save. Increasing the shot power by 50% will get it past the goalie. And if you activate off the rush, it's going in. Slap shots aren't something we usually take a lot of, though. That isn't anything to do with the ability. That's something to do with how long and drawn out the windup is and how easy it is to defend. Because the windup on a slap shot, it takes so long to get to the top that the player you're going up against has time to stop, get a poke check, get the puck off you, and go the other way. So the slap shot is more not used because of how long the windup takes, and it can be kind of finicky on the controller, um, than the abilities itself. So if they can fix that, then the abilities might get used more. Here's one that breaks it. Here is one that I think is uh, completely broken and didn't need to be touched. Crease Crasher. Rebounds were already aggressive. Rebounds were already something that people chase. Rebounds are already something people abuse in this game. And Crease Crasher, if you threw a low pad shot, it didn't matter where the guy was. He picked up the rebound and he put it in. Now, this is only increasing shot power, but Crease Crasher and uh, rebounds did not need a boost and it looks like they think they did so here we go guys if you're not using crease crasher it's, it's even better total eclipse again this is not a ability that gets used all the time because people like to use other stuff but uh, screening the goalie isn't something that needs help i feel like if people get in front of the net total eclipse or no total eclipse it uh, it screens the goalie and the puck goes in the net that's why total eclipse is not used it's not because total eclipse isn't powerful it's because no matter who is standing in front of the goalie it screens his vision and the puck goes in the net so maybe if they made it so if you didn't have total eclipse activated then the screen was irrelevant maybe they could do something like that or maybe not irrelevant but less relevant because right now, if you park a spot in front of the net, I don't have Eclipse on anybody. I have guys in front of the net, and that screen helps you score goals. So if they made it so just a normal player, something like I was talking about with the Michigan, you can only do triangle with the Michigan on, uh, on the total control if you have skilled up. Maybe screens don't really 
count for anything unless you have Eclipse, making you want to use Eclipse if you play that way. But until they get that sorted out, this this doesn't mean anything. You can give me a 20% boost to Eclipse. That does nothing for me because a guy without Eclipse still screens the goalie 100%. No contest. Here is one that I feel like the puck battles are very uh, random. And uh, no contest helps balance out the randomness a little bit to put the puck in your favor. And giving a 10% boost to giving you more odds of winning the puck battles in, with no contest is a huge one. And I think this, uh, this makes it uh, really powerful and really good to use and and i think these abilities they've added are really good adds to the game some of them i'm a little like crease crasher i'm a little rough on um because rebounds were already overpowered off the rush is uh, a slap shot one we, nobody really does slap shots snipe you can get wrist shots activated very rarely snapshots are the most common shot and then total eclipse blocking is every they they, they addressed things but they address the wrong part of the things and then at the end of it they come in with no contest that absolutely bangs no contest is awesome if you can give me a 10 percent boost to winning puck battles i'm all about it so this here is a good way for them to do stuff and i like them changing it and i know it's may 23rd guys but this is still them working on the game this is still them giving us stuff and this is still them trying to fix stuff in the game that feels broken I think there's other ways they can go. I definitely think they could address the Michigan again more, the hip check again more, um, cross creases. Defense needs to pick up pucks better. I know they gave us quick pick, but I think the defense needs to be more aware of the puck and picking it up. And then goalies. Goalies will always be something I think they need to work on. So if you take the five things here they worked on, I would have rather them worked on Michigan's hip checks goalies defense like they could have just worked on those four and made us all happier but uh these are abilities that we don't use um and i think if, if if their goal was to try to get people to use these i don't think anything other than no contest is going to be used a snipe if you can activate the wrist shot is a really good one i activate it quite a bit i get it a couple times in a game and snipe always finds its way in the back of the net no contest that 10 percent bump to puck battles i like that that will drive more people to use that but the rest of them for the reasons i've already talked about is why they're not going to be used off the rush people don't take that many slap shots total eclipse anybody screens the goalie and crease crasher everybody's already force feeding rebounds so like it, it, that's already if you're force feeding rebounds crease crasher's already on your team and you know you're this isn't going to change it for you this is just going to add a couple more people but these abilities, I think they could have went in a different direction on stuff to work on. But hey, that's just my opinion. Leave in the comment section down below your opinion. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. And please, tell me what you think of these uh, these tuners that they did here. Because I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they could have gone a better way. Thank you guys for watching this video. Till next time. Ciao, ciao.